Dallas County, meanwhile, hit a major milestone in their vaccination efforts earlier today. They administered their 250th thousandth dose at Fair Park. Aaron Jones taking a closer look at that and the predictions about where North Texas is now headed. Can I have your first and last name? Quincy Williams. 20 year old Quincy Williams. Did you think today was going to be like this? I did not. <laughs> The 250,000th person to receive a COVID-19 vaccine from Dallas County. I'm excited. I hope it works. And to celebrate today, he was recognized during a special ceremony. Going home with all this excitement. Was not expecting this. Since January, when this operation began, Dallas County really ramping up efforts, going from administering just 6,000 vaccinations a week to 9,000 a day, bringing in federal partners to assist with the effort. But our soldiers give shots faster than any other FEMA site. They are staffed to give 3,000 shots a day. But Dallas County Health and Human Services Director Dr. Philip Huang says so far only about 25% of all Dallas County residents have received at least their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and stresses other preventative measures are needed to slow the spread. But that's still 75% of people that are still remaining. Uh, that need to be vaccinated. So it's too early to stop doing these things. UT Southwestern has released its latest COVID-19 analysis and forecast, which shows cases and hospitalizations are continuing to decline in Dallas County from the peak in mid-January. Hospitalizations are down about 34% in the past two weeks. Vaccinations are believed to be providing a level of protection. However, if the public reverts back to pre-pandemic behavior with where vaccination numbers are right now, it could lead to a noticeable spike in hospitalizations shown in the red lines on the two graphs. I do plan on keep wearing a mask. Having already experienced COVID-19 once, Williams says better safe than sorry. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.